Make it right. Well, I'm back to our way of daily. I thought I'd just back up to that one first and then we'll have a look into this one. See what's in there. Oh, here, there's a can. That's all from last week. Empty box there. Whatever else is in there. Didn't think there'd be much in here. That was just a guess that I'd do it that way. They don't seem to put the bags in there. Well, we've got to start there. Uh, we usually set this this side, don't we? We're not going to be jumping in here today. Not this one, anyway. What's in this bag? Very good. What is it? Clothes. Hey, that's fancy. That's very fancy. What the devil is that? That's long. Yeah, okay. All right, put that up there. That's a start. It's a good start. Even if I use them for rags in the washing machines, for when I'm testing washing machines. It doesn't matter. Got a whole heap of it here. Devil of I. Now. Oh, yeah. Do the same with that. Jar of jam. Been opened. Grab that thing. or whatever they call them. Right, that's it for that. Right. Put it right up the back. Out of our road. That's all last week. Bit of elf oil. Put that in our tote. Can there. Can there. Now to any new viewer that just chimed in to watch the channel today. Um, I go through and I collect cans plastic bottles with a barcode on them. Um, they've got to have the label on them to have the barcode. Um, yeah, you get triangle cartons, uh, flavoured milks, that sort of thing. Uh, not uh, the two or three litre plastic milk cartons because they just haven't got a return on them. Now, I also get to and uh, recycle aluminium foil. I also collect the glass in the in the in the um, beer bottles and all that sort of thing. They're a ten cent return. Um, I collect copper and all that sort of thing. All the usual stuff that every other scrapper would take, but I take a little bit more than what meets the eye. Like when it comes down to the aluminium of this, or the aluminium foil trays, stuff like that. So if you just chimed in, stay tuned. Never know what we may find. Look at that, grab that, that's what I do with the aluminium foil, I put it in a press, press it all up, block it up, and I get so much per kilo, I think it's about $1.85 a kilo, better than nothing, better than it going to landfill, well that's that one done, what we may do, what have we got in here, I don't know what's in here yet, oh yeah, we may fill that, open this right up. Get it right open. Get them out of here and chuck them over there. Leave this one empty. That way I know it's right for next week. That's the way I've been doing it. That way I got a clean floor to walk on. Nothing in that one. That way it fills that one for them. This sort of liken it that way they know I go through the trash it is trash to them for me it's liquid gold a lot of liquid gold trash is always cash cash in the bank realize on how much 
money is actually in trash and stews until you start digging through it, really. Oh, I'll just go into the side there. Probably bags inside bags, this. There we go, there's a water bottle. Umbrella. It's got metal in it. We'll take it as it is. Put that with the alfoil. There's an alfoil tray. Butane can. Now I do take the butane cans if they got gas in them. That one's got gas. Plop that there. Oh, that's a plastic fork. What a bugger. A bit of alfoil in that bag. I do have a look at the alfoil to see whether it's clean, dirty, or, or over, over dirty. If it's over dirty, I leave it behind because it's just too hard to clean. I also grab your deodorant aerosol cans because they're aluminium. Grab that. What have we got here? Nope. in that that's one's been packed pretty well definitely nothing in that what's down the bottom there bits of material and whatnot yeah, might, might make a good rag good grease rag what's this one yeah another good grease rag same as that your neck can never have too many grease rags, I'm telling you. Especially when you're pulling motors apart for cast alloy. Um, all that sort of thing. Gotta got have something to wipe the hands on. Cause I don't wear gloves when I'm scrapping up. Pulling motors apart, that is. I know I should protect the hands from the oils and all the elements, but I've been doing it for many years. Hasn't hurt me yet. That's just the way I grew up. Big bottle there. Sweet. Let's hope we get a good load of cans and cartons and plastic today. Is that a tenner? Protein. Oh, that's fair. Okay. There's one there. That one will go. Oh, Bundaberg. All pretty much done. Yep. Nothing much in that one. It won't matter if I leave a little bit in here. Oh, we got sticks. Sticks in a bag. Sticks belong in the bush. We are in the bush, but that's empty. I could take it and have it as scrap metal. We got a cord. We got a cord. Now, I'll show you something. So you're not taking this top piece of the plastic. What do I do with these? Put, me, put it upside down. Put it down, grab the cord, and we've got the plastic off. Easy peasy, also easy. Hey, look at that, I made a run. Oh, we got the jug even. Well, that's stainless, that. Where's the box? They went and bought a new one. Hmm. Only right, about fifty dollars, fifty eighty bucks. Now comes down to wine bottles I take the aluminium top because they haven't got a 10 cent return the new location that we've got still won't take wine bottles uh, it's a product of Australia unfortunately they just haven't got a 10 cent logo return on them and they've got to actually re register the wine bottle with the company we return the stuff to so I just put that in there and I get the aluminium top off it that's what I do with those Hope that explains it. I cut the top off with a knife. But over there.
what got me into doing the wine bottle next was a viewer suggested to grab them. I was all, same as the aluminium foil. I said, well, why don't I take the aluminium foil? Well, I had a look at it and looked at the price and stuff like that. And been doing it since. It's just going back a while since that, that video was aired. I think it's over 12 months ago now. Well over 12 months ago. All right, that is that in there. Makes it easy. Doing it this way. Oh, that sounds good. Sounds like there's a lot of glass in there. Oh yeah, here we go. This is what we're looking for. This is where the money is. Just sit that there. Now if a wine bottle hasn't got any aluminium on it, I just leave it behind. That one I'll take. It won't be coming with me. I'll get to and do them when I'm finished pulling all these out. All of, out of all of the bags. Hands don't want to grab this morning, it's a bit chilly. Chilly, chilly, chilly. And that one hasn't got a top on it, so we can stay in the bag. Uh. Oh, that's a big one. Do they have it on it? Unfortunately not. It's a four litre. Bugger. Would have been good. They don't take anything up to the four litres. Bit of a shame. Still a lot of plastic going into the landfill. Hell of a lot of plastic. Oh, gas can. That's full. That's chockers. That's about three days worth of toast. Protein shake. Alright, that's that. Oh, geez, I just dropped it. Yep. Get rid of that one. The back. Sounds good in this one too. Oh yes. Oh, I like the look of that. One swipe. Bags full of them. I'm just going to put that in the back. Wow. Well, okay. Oh, come here, glass. Sounds heavy. A wine bottle and a spirit bottle. It'll be a start of a new block, pressing up on the aluminium. That one. Stuff this other stuff in there. I don't have to, but I'm going to. 
keep this one clean. Give me somewhere to walk until I empty this other one. Then I've got to go back through that again. Keep my options open. That's all I'm doing. I try to go where I'm allowed to go. We got in that one. A bit of alfoil. In in the bag. In the bag, son. I don't want peelings everywhere. Nothing in that one. Nothing there. There's a couple of glass bottles right there. Is that a bag of potatoes on the ground? Damn is. Still in the bag. Oh, they're going yuck. The yuck inside. Going all mushy. Oh, nothing in that. Okay, that bag can go bye boys. It's up the back. does take the machine we go to does take crushed ones but not really crushed pop back through some of our videos that we're putting it through the machine still remember the times when I'm putting 9,000 units through and all of that it's just going back a while back nothing in that bag one or two in here up there Wine bottles. <coughs> Just sit them in the tub. Screw the tops off later. All right, that's that one. I do know a lot of people are afraid to do it the way I'm doing it. Like collecting bottles and a 10 cent return. They're not. Wanting to get their hands dirty. So I found lead sinker there. Where'd it go? Come on. Where'd you go? There you are. Throw that in our aluminium. Look, I didn't actually choose to do recycling. Recycling chose me because there's that much about. I know that sounds a bit backwards, but that's what happened. When you're going through and just getting cans and stuff, you think, well, there's a lot more involved in your recycling to what meets the eye. That there. Because if you can crush up aluminium foil trays, why are you going through this stuff? I'll call it stuff. I won't call it crap. <laughs> a lot of people call me, tell me it's, it's not crap. It's rubbish. Not rubbish, it's liquid gold. A bit more alfoil. Doesn't matter how much it is, as long as you can save it from landfill. There's a bit more there. Yes. Doing alright, leave it in the bag. One there, another one there. Maybe that's a yucky bottle. We'll give that a clean. Best way to clean them, press them through some plastic. Yuck. Make sure she's nice and clean. If you can't read the barcode, it's not going to go through the machine. Alright, that's that. Pick that up. Say bye bye. Oh, it's hard on the arm, that. Do, 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 do. Can we undo it? Can we? Yes, sweet. They didn't do it up tight with that one. Right. Nothing in that. 
on there. I think that's got a tenner on it. Yes, it has. Take the top of it too. Oh. Busted one by there, but I got the top. Sweet. Right. Right there. I'll just sit it there. It's a lot easier to stab the knife down the down the top. Especially with my hands at the moment. They're a bit sore. Oh, come here. That's not even supposed to be any. It's a gas, big gas cylinder. I wonder. Take it and drill it. Yep. Take it and drill a hole in it. They'll take it. I've got a bit of advice over the, over the last few days. That that's what you can do with your gas bottles. As long as they've got a big opening on them, well, my scrapyard will take them. They just go as pressing steel, that's what they call it, which is for everyone over, away from our mainland Australia. Shred. Mm -hmm. Go through that one. That there, that there. And in that one, there's one. Can't see no more. All right. Did I look over here? Oh, I certainly did. It's over there. I'm certainly cleaning the house. What the devil we got here? Oh, I'm not going to pass that up. I'm not passing a shake sail up. Hell no. I'll take that. Oh, and these rubber mats. I won't pass that up. They're good rubber mats, them. Oh yeah, good for camping. What else we got in this bag? What the devil's that? That's, that, that, that's an awning wall. Yes, no, kings. Yeah, she smells a bit. Yeah, she's a bit. Mm, that one's a bit gone. What else we got here? What's that? Jumbuck. Hey, we got a jumbuck. <laughs> ah, dear. What are they? Wipes or something, are they? T is that T2? Or t oh, it's 12 wipes. That's how bad my sight is. I can't even get it open. It hasn't been opened. Wow. Well, it don't look like it's been opened to me. Hey, I can use it on my dash. No harm in doing that. Don't look like Kenneth in that one. No, he, whoop, hang on. No, he can go. I'm an arm with that one, wouldn't I? Oh, this is going to look good. This is sounding good. They're already sorted. Take it like that every day. Any day. Any day of the week. And that is that bag. Turn and dust it. Woohoo! Get rid of that one. Boom, boom. That one and that one. We're doing pretty well out of there. Honey hole is delivering. Mm. 
me next honey hole will be good too, I reckon. Probably been drinking up well for the week. Pop a box, take the straw out. That there, that there. The little dog trays that own me, uh, well, that brand. I mean, my reading can't do a well roll, but anyway, you've seen the label. They're all aluminium. You get down to the uh, spam cans too, I think they're an aluminium can. There's a lot that people do throw away. Are they a packet of chips? Are they open? Oh yes, they're open. What a bugger. What a bugger. I always see packs of bums of packs of chips and I think, oh yes, I got me lunch. But no, they're open. And we've got nothing else out of that anyway. Oh, there's a can. I better get that one. Stuck in a paper plate. Up there. Better have a second dig, I suppose. Yeah, we got it. We got it, we got it, hoo hoo. That over there. Certainly know how to fill a trash can. Open it right up. Right out, that's got nothing. <coughs> That one there. I've seen a bottle down here. There it is. Oh, it's got enough for more. Okay, you can stay there. Empty that out. Stuff that over there. That one there. Much easier for me to pour it out. I can see what's going on. Got here. What's this one? It's even cut off too. Okay. Someone's taken the element off. That one they haven't. This time of year it's good. I um, don't seem to get the fish food as much. Meaning muggets, the good old maggot. That is it. See how I left it in the bag? And that's over there. That cleaned house. Sweet as. Right, I better get out and sort this stuff out. Grabbing the last one here. Drag it out. Ooh. These stones are bloody hard on the hands, I tell you. Pushing these bins. Oh, let's get stuck into these. Oh dear, I know they've got some weight in them. This one here, I had a gank in it. <laughs> Holy telly, she chuck us. This one, I don't know what's on the bottom. So they're the favourable ones. Anyway, we'll get stuck into this. I come down a dirt road. As you can probably notice, there's a whole heap of dust in there. Push all that aside. Pull all that back. Picked up a few on the way here off the side of the road. Anyway, I think it might be best. Damn, that's a rag and a half, isn't it? Well, I'm gonna leave that. We might, um, oh, that smells funny. It doesn't smell stink or anything like that, it just smells nicely funny. 
sit that there we might just put this straight up and pour it right in you know, we've got timber and all there you know, we might use this one and utilize it and we've got some bottles in there too they don't often get food waste in this one Anyway, up we go. Oh, there's another couple of bags. Get the extras out that we can. Grab that. 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 Just set it aside for now. Stuff it back in here. Uh, yes, no. That is the bottom is not it's a paper so that'll can go that way bit of paper there paper there just so I don't have to dig it out later when I'm unloading right bag of screw here unless I have to lift glass is so goddamn heavy I just broke one gotta clean up an aisle five I was trying to prevent that's 10 cents down what is it no there's one just one broke 10 cents down can't do much about that and there now yeah, we'll pick the whole thing up uh, pick this up first don't want to be treading on it and make more of a mess where can we put that here these two up. There we go. Up and at them. That out of there. Oh, he's not going to go. We'll sit him there for now. Wonder. That's a soft landing. It's plastic. Pour them out of that. Put that in there. We're going to use this one. There's a one with no bum in it. Take him. He got no bum. No head, I should say. Right there. Give that an empty out. Right. Pour that out. Here we go, Luke. Your grasses are getting a bit overwatered in there. I know. Leak. Water hasn't been on for ages, so. Oh, you got a leak, have you? Oh, it's a problem when Matt used to mow the lawn, he'd run over. Oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> He's working too hard for you. <laughs> Well, that too. Alright. Oh yeah, no dramas. Put that into there. there. That made it easy. Pick that up. Pick a bit more of this glass up down here. Here we go. Get into this one. into there we might lift this up no I just cleared it oh, what have we got here what the devil is that oh, we will just take all of that home that's full that's full that's full salt yes we'll just take that bag grab that bag sit it down there I'm sure might get some goodies out of this one. 
pay for it. <coughs> a lot easier with that that bin no like with the wheel. <laughs> Toby's very quick ten minutes. Ooh, that's open. Ooh, that's open. So is that. Don't think my horses. <laughs> no, that's not open. Still got self aluminium foil on top. Barbecue sauce would be the same. Another can of spray. What have we got here? Foil. Yeah, well, I'll take the foil. Tell you what I do with the foil. <laughs> we don't use foil. We don't save nothing. Whatever we cook, we eat. Spaghetti. I think that's still a full jar. Yeah, it's down. I'll put it in another bag. Sugar. They're open. What are they? Nuts. Peanuts. Salted. Peanuts, bags or something, vanilla folders, sultanas, all mixed up in here. Yeah, a bit of rice, all good. I'll grab that bag. We might even just use this one. Oh, snap peas, they're defrosted. A bit of garlic. Domios. It's all mixed up with the flour in here. What's that? That's a rice. Butternut bars. Mm -hmm. We might just empty this bag yet. I reckon so. Tin or something there. Eh? Big red tomato soup. Oh god, what's that curry is it? Hit curry powder. Well, there's the other one of those rice thingos. Get into there, mate. Well, you can go like that. We've got another bag in here anyway. Oh, Cole's bag. That looks like a good clean bag. We'll chuck it in that one. Get rid of the flower bag. A bit of flower power. Oh, yeah. That into there. There. Doing our shopping. Yeah, yeah. Won't say no. Leave that out. Sit it down there. That bag's got too much flour in it. What else are we going to get out of here? Got more here. Oh, that's out of, that must be out of the fridge. Yeah, this is out of the fridge. And the alfoil. Do, 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 do. What are we going to reveal? Is it meat product? Oh yeah, heap of bacon. Heap of bacon. Bread. Oh, this is going to be the last place. Maybe. Yeah, that looks fresh. That loaf of bread looks fresh, non-open. 
down there. Hasn't been hot. Try that that way. Another loaf of bread there. Yep. Now I'll leave the sausages there. They can stay there. Oh, yeah. Grab that. Oh, move our bag. I reckon that's all we're going to get out of that one. Sit you there. Oh, are they, are they aluminium? I don't think so. Don't think they're aluminium, those ones. Well, test it. We'll find out. Where's our magnet? Come on, magnet. Now uh, she's tinny. I don't take too many tinny ones. Aerosol cans, they're aluminium. That's a deodorant one, what I was talking about all. Oh, get rid of that. There go there. This is where I get a lot of aluminium in the pressed up stuff. Out of these. Alright, push it out of the road, pick up that chip packet, get back into it. Milk it dry. Sit you over there. Phew, stinky. Phew, this has got some odour on this one. Get rid of all of that. Well, that's all gone. Your alcohol there. That's clean. Get rid of the sausages and all the other stuff. That's there. Doesn't matter if it's greasy. Ooh, we've got a frying pan down here. Grab that. Give a couple of bags up. Deal with that one. It's over there. One bag left. Oh, we can use that one. That's right. We've got this one here. Oh, 
that's that. And it's stuck into this one. Cardboard box on top. Helpful, get rid of the bread. I reckon we'll end up with half a use by the time we're finished here. That's me, though. That's me thinking that. Be good if it does. So I think this one here's full, full of recyclable stuff, cans and stuff. We did have a geek, as we all know. Bit of mints. Yeah, not chancing it. Don't know how long it's been in here for. Here's a wine bottle. That one there. That over there. Been with it this week, all good to go out. All good to go out. Sometimes I forget what week it is putting these out. Just a little chore that I've got going it allows me to go through these. Go and get them and bring them out, sort them out. Less trash, less bins to get out. In that sort of sense. Whatever that is. Oh, it's a bit of bark. Fill this corner up anyway. Oh, that sounds terrific. Plastic lid. Someone broke their wine glass. Oh yeah, they certainly did. Well, that's got a bit of weight to it. Don't spill it. boxes and god knows what with our foil in there as well it's full yeah uh, no we're leaving that one yeah we'll leave that one it's full of fish food might be a while before i do another another press up or something like that yeah it takes a long time to get that stuff anything up to about oh, six months i think I think. Don't quote me, but pretty close to that. It all depends on how much alpha oil gets put out. Like when you get into wine bottle tops, those little tops and all that sort of thing. But it does that up. Another one there. Like that. Gotta keep it tidy here. Right, that'll do that one. We'll use that one. Someone's trousers. 
And they're going to haul up the fork. We'll put them over there. We've got enough rags for the day. Find a full one. Be bloody nice being a dry streak lately. Oh, yeah, aerosol can. That one. Nothing else there. Nope. paper in the world. Put that into there. It won't empty it right out. Only of the content that we want. Put that there. We might need to use it. If not, let's put all in good. Right there. think you got it all never always that way I always dig to the bottom if I can and have a look through oh, here we go here we go our foil trays more alfoil another bit there no that's plastic more alfoil there we can. I have, there I see a lot of vape packets, but I'm not seeing the machine, the vaping machines. Because some of them are stainless steel, some of them are aluminium. Yeah, take it home with you, mate. Might last longer. Go and toot your horn somewhere else. <laughs> What are we doing there? There's a can there. Throwing a can away. That was in that last bag. There's another can. That have a scratch. No, oh, we got it. I'm wondering what was going on there. Oh, that one there. That one there. Oh dear, here we go, here we go. Look at this, this is starting to come good. Hell yeah. It's a bit like this one. <laughs> Might be best to tip that up. Pull the bag out and tip it up. Get the trash out of there. some way in that bag. Oh, more food. Can eggs? How about we just sit it there? No drain. They're not going to give me drinks. Oh, beer. Pure coconut water stuffy. Cheese. This is out of another fridge. Is that opened? No. 
hot chili sauce. What have we got here? Is that opened? Don't know. Don't think so. We'll have a squizzy. No, that's not open either. Give the top a good wash from me handling it. <coughs> is that another carton of eggs? Damn well is. Hell yeah. We won't say no to eggs. I'll put them there. <laughs> What have we got here? Cheese? No, not going to chance the cheese. She's been opened. That's been opened. That's been opened. You can tell because it's got content used out of it. I'm not going to just get up and tip it all out just in case there's something else in there down the bottom that's going to pour over the rest. You don't want that. In there. Well, we're not taking dairy products. We don't know how long this has been in here for. Could be two days, could be three days. Frozen meals we don't bother with. I come only here once a week. That's not open or is it open? It's hard to say. What is it? Mustard. Ooh, we don't eat the mustard, but I'll have a look. Yeah, she's open. <laughs> we don't eat mustard. That's just a bit hot for our tongue. What else is down there? No, that's open. Yep, yep. That's all lit. No. All right, now I'll tip it out just to have a squeezy. If I missed anything, don't look like it. No, it didn't miss anything. Sour cream, see, they've got to be. Oh, there's a tuna tin. That's it. Tip it out. Alright. Well, oh, what's in the next bag? Oh, it's true to can't reach it. Right there. Oh yuck. Alright, push that through the plastic. Little tip. Got dirt on them. Well, not actually dirt, I'm talking dirty dirty. Food dirty. Push it through the bag and push it out. If you don't want to be touching the food. Cleans it. Look at that. Makes it best for going through the machines. Ah, uh, just seen a bit of alpha oil there. There. That's it for that. Back over here, grab this one. Here is. Nothing else in that one. <coughs> now, if you get into cans and stuff, just do your resources first, like where you're going to get them from. Um, hunt around. No. There's a lot around, you just got to look for it. It's a matter of um, go and ask. They can always say no. Most of the time they can say yes too, you know. Go to, go to an RV park or something like, where am I going with this stuff? I'm supposed to be going there. RV park and things like that, ask them. They may say no, they may say yes, if you're getting into the cans and the glass. Ugh. Say, so, well look, I'll put your bins out. Go the day prior. So that way you're getting it before it goes out. You're putting their bins out the day prior. The day that you're putting it out, you may miss a little bit, but it's not much missing. So that's what I do anyway. I've worked it out, but that's what happens. So 
they done a lot of changing bins around here on days when it was going out and stuff I just tipped that up drove me nuts for a while there thinking well when's it going out when's it going out I didn't know and I'll tell you what it was a mayhem big mayhem yeah, a couple of good apples in there are they good apples that is that is sit them down there they're still in the packet Leave that stuff there. I'm going to pour that into here. Seems it's already up there. Nothing in that bag, is there? No, it doesn't feel to be. We won't worry about it. There's one, two. That's that. That's into there. Give that one a hose out. Get stuck into this one. Oh yeah. Well we don't want the glass. Well that's a nice looking glass though. Oh well, you know what? Why not take it? It's not broken. Let's wash it up. What are we up to? This one here. That may go through. Mm, I'm not gonna chance it. Putting it through the machine and hold you. I'll get the dollar something a kilo. I think it's a dollar twenty-eight, I see. That's for the crushed stuff. Don't need much to get a kilo. Found that out. We might be a full vehicle before we leave here. Damn. Two weeks running. This is the second week. Last week we filled up. Ooh, where's the bucket? Where's the bucket? Where's the bucket? Oh, it'll go through. It'll go through. <laughs> Put them in the fire and they try to burn them. Doesn't do it any good. What have we got in here? What do we have? All the tops are off. That one there. Those three tops over there. The rate we're going, we'll have a full vehicle. Probably. I've got two bins over here that's got to go out to the curb. Has that got some in it? Yeah. Bit of red. I'll leave the lid on that one. Oh, we don't need to. There's nothing in there. Well, that's got nothing in it. Oh, it's a 10 cent. That's a 10 cent. Vodka. We'll have to put that one aside. No, we're not going to put it aside, we're going to put it in there. Let's hope they start putting it on there. They've got to register that. Hopefully that one's registered with the company. That's about the only second one I've seen. So things might be looking up. I'm not going to hang on to wine bottles until I see it. Because if it's not on the bottle, it still won't go through. So I'm not accumulating a lot. There's no real point. Um, if it's not on that label, it still won't go through. Because they've got to change their barcodes and blah, blah, blah. All the crap under the sun, you know. That's what happens. New things come through. I'll get rid of that. Is that alfoil inside it? It's all alfoil. That'll go through, get rid of the eggshell. I thought this was a full bin of uh, cans and stuff. It don't look like it. My luck just went down. I reckon. We don't know until we get to the bottom. It's still going, so it's not too bad.
As I say, if you, you're getting into the recycling 10 cent. Try motels, hotels, RV parks, caravan parks. They, they can uh, only say no, but you get the odd one. Like I said, it will say yes. I was just lucky. He did say no at first. And then I told him my story of what was happening in my life and stuff like that. And he said, oh, yeah. And then the caretaker that was there said, oh, you're not allowed to do that. And blah, blah, blah. And this is going back when I first started, before I started YouTube even. And, um, yeah, she, the caretaker actually got a nose put out of joint. <laughs> I don't mind, but um, I've been doing it for a while. I've been, been doing cans and stuff for Oh, struth. And getting good money out of it. Probably, oh, I'd say, five years. Going on five years anyway. Yeah, it would be five years, because I was doing it before I even got the job where I is. So, yeah. Right, what I'm going to do here, is just put it down to the messy bit of trash. I'm going to lift that up move our food out of the road oh that's got to go down here put that in that bag not throwing eggs put them down here put that master food down there move this one over get a bit organized up we go Bring this closer. Have it organised. It's best, you know, if you do get into doing it like I do, have a have a ute of some sort. Just load it in the back. Make life easy. Station wagon, whatever. You know, have what you got. Start out. And if you've got to go and get something later on and change, why not? If I, as you see, I get a lot. So. Like a full ute load here. She's only a little proton. Proton jumbo. This, this up to about here is about $120. Without the tote in here too. That's a good estimation. So it's not a not a bad outing. I um, only spend about three hours, so that's good money. And then about twenty minutes to unload it. I sort it out in the bags, and then I um, just go and put it through the machine. So simple. So in total of hour-wise, like you're talking hours, probably all oh, say three three hours for picking it up. Say about an hour for sorting it out. That's taking me time. But if I've got a, got someone else help with me helping sort it out, and it takes about half an hour or so. Get rid of those eggshells. Come this way. Drain the crap under there. So, really. <coughs> oh, that's a full one. <laughs> that's a full one. That's why I do it the way I do it. Um, so, in total, in hours, probably looking at about four and a half hours. Five hours in total? So to get $120 for, say, five hours, pretty good money. I don't know what that works out as in per hour. Wouldn't have a clue. I don't do it per hour. It's not a sort of thing, because it can vary, you know. Some days you get more, some days you get less. 
so it doesn't really matter what you get as long as you're enjoying it you're earning a bit of pocket money a bit of money on the side all what I get here we put it away put it aside into a savings account let it grow let it do what it needs to do in in say is that it that looks like it it's a bit like investing you're investing into something that you're going to need in the future that's that one i'll give that a wash out got the hose there all right we'll get stuck in the last one here well, we've been here about 45 minutes or so probably I better get my ass into gear get moving We've got a long hard day ahead of us yet. That's that one. At least we got a beer. Give that a wash and put it on the chin tonight. Up and at him. Is that alfoil? foil? No, it's cling wrap. Oh, a bit of gravy, is it? Yeah, there's a bit in there. Spirit bottle. A bit more gravy, is it? Yeah, there's a lot of gravy in that one. What's that one? Cling wrap? Yeah. Green, bio green. Bit of room in there, isn't there? Yes. I still got to attend to this one over here and empty that out yet. Haven't forgotten about it. Fill them up. See they've got to go out. Oh, grapes. Look at that. Yes. They look alright. Right there, we could clean that one out in a hurry. Oh, it's not too bad. Give it a bash. I'll give that one a scrape when I get home. Get a scraper out. A bit like a paint scraper. Another foil tray, that one's cleaner. That. Oh dear! Yeah, well, I think we can just pick that up and do the same thing again. Give you a pushback, mate. Fuck that one bottle out of here, please. Throw him up there. We'll get to him and take the next off that. Double paper that. Put double paper paper wrapping on. Like there. Pretty close to full. Well, no, not really. Yeah, we'd probably have about 90 bucks here. Is that a tenner? I don't know. Come back here. I think that one is a tenner. Yes, it's a ten. Up we go. Mm. 
no top on that one, he won't go through. Right, that's that. Time to give them a rinse out. Gather our groceries. Can you give those three a rinse out? I've got this one to empty out yet and into there. And we'll hit the road. Go and see what else we can get and put our groceries away, like I was saying.